Hello, my name is Andrew Bacham. I am a Rotarian with the Downtown Club of La Crosse, and I am also the District 6250 Service Project Chair for your district. I am here today to explain to you a new challenge that we are doing here in the district. It is a service project video challenge. And what we are doing with the video challenge is we know that as Rotarians, we do a lot of good in our communities. We do some amazing projects that both strengthen our communities, we clean them up, we make them better, and we are cornerstones within our communities. So with this video project, what we wanna do is we wanna tell some of those stories, share some of those stories throughout our district. You are looking at an amazing project that happened here in La Crosse with the help of the Valley View Rotary Club. With this challenge, the challenge is for every club in this district to make a short two to three minute video of a project that their club has done. The project could be within the last five or 10 years or something that you are currently working on, but we wanna know about what your projects are. With this two to three minute video, we also want you to put together a no more than one page brief write up of your club's project. Who it benefits, any challenges you may have seen, and if you could include someone in your club as a contact point, that would be wonderful. What we are going to do is we are going to collect all of these videos and we are going to share them throughout our district to help inspire other clubs. We are also planning to show all the videos at Tricon this year. And then we will ask people at Tricon to rank our top three videos. There will probably have to be popcorn there and refreshments. First place will be $500. Second place will earn $300 and third place $200 to go towards their next club's project. If that's not enough, hey, maybe we'll also get a trophy. So now to inspire you, here is a sample of a video from the Rotary Club of Holman that they did to show you how easy this project is. Hi, my name is Carrie Travis. And I'm Kelly Dunn. We're both members of the Holman Area Rotary Club. We would want to take a moment to talk to you about uh, heart healthy living, which is why I don't have my rotary shirt on. I'm in my exercise clothes um, and promoting health throughout the community. Uh, one of the things that is very important um, for cardiac health, aside from a healthy lifestyle, is making sure you're able to intervene if someone has a cardiac event. And that's what we're really going to talk about today. And having um, an automated external defibrillator or an AED will increase the chances of survival for a person who has an out of hospital cardiac event. And that increase goes from 9% survival rate all the way up to 38%. So it's quite significant. And so when our club heard about the benefits of the AEDs, we decided to buy nine AED units and place them in the community. So our club budget for this project was $10,000. We we contributed $5,000 and we were able to get a district matching grant for the other $5,000. So the total of about $10,000 allowed us to buy full AED units with the signage and the wall cabinets that we were able to then give out to some area businesses. I uh, took a group of Winona State University nursing students who are seniors and learning about community health. And they went out and did an assessment of our community and they looked for places that would really benefit the most from having an AED. So they looked at places that perhaps had an older uh, population, um, places that were far from uh, hospitals, so the transportation time would be longer. And so they identified about 10 different places that we were kind of looking at as a, as a dead area, as a, as a um, spot that would really uh, make the most impact by putting an AED. And once we decided to move forward with this project, so we said, okay, are we gonna promote it? So we put it on our Facebook page and we have a lot of followers. Some of our groups shared it. We, we got it on the Business Association's Facebook page. Uh, the fire department helped us promote it on their Facebook page. We also did a press release that was picked up and so we had some favorable comments that way. And the, first, the goal was basically to have businesses uh, reach out to us and say, hey, we would like to be considered for that. And some of them uh, were kind of prompted by their visits with the nursing students 
in town as well to just encourage them to do that. And so we had some good publicity with it. We did, and we had um, some applications from area businesses through an online site and um, made sure that we really did go in and encourage those places that were um, where we had identified a really great need. Uh, often we encouraged them to go ahead and apply. Good. And one of the recipients is actually the Holman Area Community Center where we're at today. Our club meets here every Wednesday morning. And you can see we've got a wall cabinet here that was mounted onto the wall. It's at a level to where even handicapped people could access it inside is actually the AED unit. And you can see where everything is self-contained into this unit. And so it just goes right here. And for the community center, they were a good prospect for it because they have, every day, they have senior meals. We heard last week there were 70 people here <laughs> for that lunch. They have other community events going on through the day. We also have a little bit of signage up above so people walking by. Uh, just you know on their own they're going to notice that there's an AED present here and that's a key part of the program as well. But of course an AED doesn't do you any good if you don't know how to use it and so we actually went ahead and utilized some volunteers from a wonderful organization the Seven Rivers Cardiac Arrest Preparedness Education Group and they conducted two basic CPR training sessions actually at our community center and we invited the recipients of the AEDs to come and attend that training yeah. so they would all know exactly what to do in the event of uh, the need for an AED. So if you'd like to hear more about this type of project, feel free to reach out to us through the Holman Area Community, or through the Holman Area Rotary Club. And good luck, we'd like to help, help you improve uh, the public health of your community as well. So thanks a lot, we'll see you later. You see how easy it is to earn $500 for your club? So now it is your turn, District 6250. Put together a video of your own telling us about your club's project. It doesn't have to be a super technical video, you can shoot it with your smartphone. When you have completed your video, please upload it to YouTube and send me the link along with your one page write up of your project. Here is my email. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me as well. Our Rotary theme this year is Imagine Rotary. When I look at that video shared with us by the Rotary Club of Holman, and I think, what if one club, or five clubs, or 10 clubs latch onto that video and decide to do a project like that in their community? Imagine the difference that we can make and the lives that we can save. That is what makes Rotary great. When we come together and we collaborate and share ideas, imagine what a difference Rotary can make.